really sudden, and this is a bit hard for me to ask of you, but... Do you mind being the last person in the household to take a shower from now on? What? Like, you know, I get that since you married my dad that you're technically family and all that. But at the end of the day, you're still pretty much a stranger to me, you know? We don't exactly know each other all that well. And, like, I just don't have it in me to get inside a shower that someone who I don't even know has been inside. <laughs> you know? Like, I can't stand spa resorts and hot tubs and stuff like that for the same reason. <laughs> oh, is that so? I'm really sorry. I feel bad for not noticing you not being comfortable sooner. As long as you get in last from now on, it's all good. <laughs> so, it's settled then. From now on, you're gonna be the last one using the shower in our family. Hmm. <laughs> I'll try my best not to accidentally get in earlier than everyone else. That said, could I ask you a favor, Jessica? Please make sure you shower by 7 p.m., okay? Excuse me? Since your father has to leave the house fairly early for work, I'm lining up my sleep schedule with him, and I try to get to bed by 9 p.m. every night. So if you could maybe shower a bit earlier, that would really be a lifesaver. Or maybe the next morning? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Am I going crazy? Do you even hear yourself right now? What? Are you seriously trying to imply that I should go out of my way to line up my schedule with yours just so you aren't inconvenienced? But you usually shower at around 2 in the morning, right? Having to wait until then just to shower is a bit much. Um, and what does any of that have to do with me? You're a grown adult. You don't have a bedtime. Just stay up and do something around the house until I feel like taking my shower. It's not rocket science. Um, what? I get sleepy when I shower, alright? And that's why I don't want to do it until I'm finished with homework and studying. Is that so hard for you to understand? Listen, I don't care what you say. I'm not changing my shower schedule for you just because you can't understand that I have schoolwork to do. Hmm, but in that case, I'm afraid I would have no choice but to shower earlier than you after all. So then just... don't take a shower then? <laughs> what? Or why don't you just be the one to shower in the morning? Look, I don't care what you do, as long as you don't do it before me at night. Plus, do us all a favor and never step foot in the bathroom again after 6pm. <laughs> Come on. Don't you think you're being just a little bit unreasonable here? I'm trying to accommodate you, but it doesn't seem like you're considering my perspective. Huh? Excuse me? What, do you have something to say, huh? Or what? Just because I'm your stepdaughter, am I not even allowed to make one simple request? Is that it? What are you talking about? Do you not remember when you said to me that you married my dad? Or maybe you don't have enough brain capacity to think that far back. You said you promised you would do everything you can to make sure I would feel safe and fairly treated. Or what? Was that a lie? Do adults have some kind of secret rule where lying to stepchildren is accepted or something? No, of course not. But what you've described isn't really a simple request, you know, it's more of a... well... A bit of an unreasonable request, I suppose would be the word. <laughs> um, beg your pardon? Listening to your kid's unreasonable request is part of being a parent. Your stepdaughter has gone out of her way to generously ask an unreasonable request of you. So you better not only do as I ask, but also drop down on your knees and thank me for it. What? Oh! Or maybe you don't want to be a stepmom. Is that it? Wow, that's really harsh of you. After being so nice to me and buttering me up before the marriage, too. You never actually cared about me, huh? Is that how it is? That's not true at all. None of that is. I want nothing more than to raise you like you were my own daughter, Jessica. 
Then you shut your mouth and do as I say. I could tell Dad anything I want literally any time, you know. I could tell him that you refuse to acknowledge me as your child. Or that living here is making me depressed and to please divorce you. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, would you? Of course I would. And I can imagine that you really wouldn't want that, hmm. Especially seeing as how a single dad was literally the best man you could manage to land. <laughs> you really can't afford to get divorced, can you? You're probably pretty desperate. Don't you think you're being a bit mean-spirited? I'm just getting started. I'm pretty sure that pathetic old hags like you are what society likes to call leftovers. <laughs> I can't even try to imagine how many failed relationships you've had to go through. And after all of that, the man that you finally managed to make settle for you is a widower with a child. Oof. If there is a god, I pray that I at least don't end up like you when I get older. <laughs> oh my. Are you finished? Yes. Back to the topic at hand. So, yeah. You're banned from using the bathroom in our house ever again. <laughs> Thanks! Laura, is everything okay? I heard everything from Jessica a little while ago. Apparently, you two aren't really getting along that well. Wait, huh? Jessica told you that? I got a call from her all of a sudden. She was inconsolable, screaming and begging me to get divorced. I was so shocked, I didn't even know what to say. I didn't expect her to actually say that to you. She kept going on about bathroom this and divorce that but it was also loud and unexpected that I still don't know what any of this is actually about. What on earth happened, exactly? I would really like to hear your side of the story, too. Thank you for being so understanding. So, basically, you know how Jessica showers at around 2am? Well, she wanted to make me get in the shower after her every day, instead of before her in the afternoon. What? And so all I did was tell her that a request that unreasonable is something that I just cannot do. But, well, it would seem that she still wasn't satisfied with the outcome. I'm really sorry for bringing you into this, Edward, but... Could you maybe talk to Jessica about this, too? I can't believe this. You're the one in the wrong here. What? Being unreasonable is a child's job. Of course she's frustrated. How did this not even cross your mind? My god, Laura. I never would have thought that you were such a childish person. Wait, what? Look, yeah, I get that you've been single since god knows when and that you've never had any kids of your own and all. So it's no surprise that you don't have a clue on how to deal with kids. But the more clueless you are, the more you have to step up and compromise until you can figure things out on your own. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason you've been single for all this time? Excuse me? Here, let me break it down for you in simpler terms so you could understand. Child makes silly request, parent listens. That's pretty much the textbook definition of a family. <laughs> um, but in this case, I feel like I'm less of a family member and more of a slave. Your wife is struggling with something, and as her husband, you're not even going to bother to try and listen to her? Come on now, Laura. Just who do you think is responsible for allowing you the chance to be a wife and a mother? Allowing me the chance? What are you talking about? I feel like you're being a little... No, scratch that. You've been pretty damn full of yourself these days. Because I don't want to wait until after two to shower? Not just that. But I mean, despite having a body that's so broken that you can't even give birth... I, the father of a beautiful little girl, have gone out of my way to bestow my hand in marriage to you. Despite all of that, what the hell's with that little attitude of yours? Wait, hold on right there, Edward. What does my body have anything to do with this conversation? Why would you even bring up something like that? We've graciously allowed you to marry your way into our family. I'd really appreciate it if you'd learn your place in this household. 
you can't be serious. God, you still don't get it, do you? All right, let me break it down for you yet again. All you have to do is shut up and play the part of my wife and my daughter's mother. Just so we're clear, I can literally divorce you anytime I feel like it. <laughs> Edward, are you being serious? Do you... do you really mean all of that? Well, duh. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you right now. If your kid says they want you to stay out of the bathroom, then just grit your teeth and do it. Or, you know, figure out how to improvise. Wake up first thing in the morning and shower then. I mean, it's not really that hard. Well, I've got to get back to work. Be sure to apologize to Jessica, all right? You better be getting along with her by the time I get home, yeah? money pretty please i already spent all my money for this month <laughs> already it hasn't been a week since this month started you know i'm only human i like to buy snacks and stuff on the way home from school you know so sue me it's a miracle that i've managed to make 50 dollars last this entire week <laughs> hmm well about that You've been coming home pretty late from school recently, haven't you? Well past midnight sometimes, even. That's very dangerous for a girl of your age to be doing. Sometimes I'm really worried that something might happen to you. Is everything all right? <laughs> oh my god, you're killing me with that fake mother act. You must have been practicing that all night, huh? <laughs> Let's make one thing clear. Having my Dap, mom of all people worry about me isn't gonna get me all warm and emotional. I suppose you're right. Ooh, did something happen? Is it just me? Because I feel like you've really come a long way in terms of your attitude lately. <laughs> you even figured out how to shower after everyone else. I've learned that I have no friends or allies in this household, yes. So I figured that listening quietly and doing as you guys say would be the most peaceful option for me. Ooh, who would have thought the day would come when you'd become so obedient? That divorce threat must have really haunted your dreams, huh? <laughs> Excuse me? Well, as long as you know your place now, all is forgiven. <laughs> so then, back to the allowance money. Let's see. I'm feeling pretty generous today, so I think I can settle for $200 for now. $200? I mean, this is pretty obvious, but just in case you're too slow to figure it out, I'm probably gonna borrow an additional $200 every time I run out again. <laughs> is that right? So, yeah, make sure you have the money ready by the time I get home. I'm sorry, Jessica. I'm afraid that won't be happening. I can't give you any more allowance money. Excuse me? And just when I thought you'd finally become obedient. What the hell is this? I'm telling you to hand over something, so your job is to shut up and hand it over. I'm afraid I cannot do that. The hell's that supposed to mean? You know what will happen if you decide to go against me, right? If you don't tune down that cocky attitude of yours, I can just tell Dad to dump you again. Hmm. <laughs> Last time was quite troublesome, yes. Even your father told me that he could drop me any time he felt like it. And if that wasn't enough, the next day he even handed me a signed divorce document. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> God, it's so funny seeing how much Dad spoils me. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Perhaps it's because his wife passed? He truly does seem to spoil you rotten. Oh, you're hella smart. <laughs> Who would have thought? But yeah, exactly. Don't you think that just giving me some extra allowance is the best action then? Let's put this whole thing behind us. And if you even think about disobeying me again, then I can just make Dad divorce you in the blink of an eye. <laughs> This isn't a threat, understand? I'm dead serious. But we've been divorced for quite some time now. 
Wait, what? I just couldn't take it anymore, so I divorced your father. So I'm not your stepmom any longer. With that established, I hope you can understand why you won't be getting a cent from me. Wait, what? Hold on. What? Huh? Divorced as in, like, actually divorced? Yep, I'm dead serious. The last of the documents have just gotten accepted a while ago. And so now I'm officially out of your family. <laughs> oh my god, this is priceless! Are you being serious right now? Already? You couldn't even hold down a marriage for one year without getting divorced? That's hilarious! I don't think there's a single adult on this entire planet with an endurance level as low as yours. You're pathetic! Just goes to show just how terrible your words and actions are. <laughs> oh my god! Look at you, blaming a literal kid about your own issues. Could you stoop any lower? Excuse me? If you know that you're so spineless, then why would you even bother getting married in the first place? You knew well before marrying my dad that he has a kid. Obviously, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Or could you not even figure that out? Yes, I suppose that's very true. I was not nearly as mentally prepared as I should have been. And for that, I am very regretful. Aww, poor Laura. After everything you must have gone through to finally get the chance to marry my dad. Oh well. Back to being single! <laughs> Have fun being a societal reject again! Oh, and now that you're divorced, we can finally go back to being actual legal strangers again! So, yeah. Please never show your face in front of us again! Thanks! <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. So start packing your things and get the hell out of my house! What? Your house? Can you not read English? Or are you just brain dead? Allow me to rephrase. Pack your things and get out of my house, which is legally under my name and belongs to me. What? That nice, cushy house that you parasites are living in right now is a house that I bought for myself when I was still single. Getting married doesn't change the fact that this is my property and mine alone. So could you do me a favor and scram, please? What? Now, just you hold on a minute. What? But I thought Dad bought this house. Didn't he buy this when he remarried so we could have a fresh start? No, he didn't. You see, I'm physically unable to bear children, so all my life I thought that marriage would never be an option for me. So that's why I've been saving up bit by bit all through my single years. And bought a nice house for myself well before most people my age. What? When it was decided that you and Edward would come move in with me, I was actually very happy that I would finally have someone to share my lovely house with. I felt so proud that I had bought this house so that my new family could live comfortably. Now though, I don't want you two contaminating the place a second longer. I'd like to enjoy living in my house without having to share the space with two washed up shallow pieces of garbage. So could you please hurry up and leave? Are you for real right now? Did you just call us garbage? Any creature that would go out of its way to stomp out any advances of kindness or affection towards it is nothing more than a piece of trash. Yes. I'll give you a week. Please make sure that you and your rotten father leave my house hand in hand by then. Hey, Laura! What the hell do you think you're doing? What do you mean you're divorcing me? Jessica nearly had a breakdown while calling me. Oh, hello, Edward. If I recall correctly, you're the one who graciously presented me with a signed divorce paper. All I had to do was deliver it to City Hall. Everything went quite smoothly, in fact. You're kidding, right? Oh, did Jessica tell you your deadline for me? I don't intend to give you a single day longer than the timeline I've given you, so make haste, all right? Wait. Okay, hold on a second. Let's not get carried away here, yeah? Divorcing me out of the blue is... It's unreasonable. What the hell are you thinking? Do you know how hard it'll be for Jessica and me? Go cancel the stupid divorce right now. It won't be hard for me, though. Therefore, no. 
I won't be canceling anything. Yeah, it won't be hard for you, but what about me? I'm already in debt from having to borrow money for collateral. What the hell do you intend on doing about that? Huh? Huh? Collateral? As in, for the house? You've been borrowing money for collateral? What am I supposed to do about this? If you divorce me, all the collateral will be null. Instead of losing your temper, could you explain to me what exactly is going on? You were putting collateral on my house without me knowing? Are you insane? What the hell were you thinking? Shut the hell up. What else was I supposed to do? Times are tough, all right. And just how much money did you borrow? About a hundred thousand or so. One hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, fine, I get it. I'm bad at investments, all right. What, you gonna rub it in my face or something? I didn't expect cryptocurrency to crash this hard, okay? How the hell was I supposed to know? You don't even know how much I've worked to recover from my debt. Cryptocurrency. You haven't mentioned being interested in that kind of stuff a single time since we've met. I've been planning on starting to get more into investing once I remarry and settle down. <laughs> once I did, the $3,000 I invested became $30,000 in the span of a single month. And so I thought I was a genius. A genius who is currently drowning in $100,000 worth of debt. Truly the brain of the century. I thought I could pay it back bit by bit. I even quit investing altogether. I truly thought I could do my best and pay it all back one at a time, okay? Yes, truly. You even went out of your way to add collateral on someone's property behind their back. If the bank were to find out about that, they'd surely ask for their money back. Most likely as a lump sum payment, in fact. Right? So, so listen to me, okay? I'm begging you here. Please don't divorce me. Anything but that. I promise. I absolutely swear on my life that I won't bother you with my debt problems. So just... Please... Anything but divorce. How unfortunate. We're already officially divorced, I'm afraid. It's a tad bit late to come crying to me on your hands and knees. What the hell is your problem? Do you not see me literally begging and pleading here? Even though I went out of my way to marry you, this is how you treat me when I actually need you? By throwing me away like I'm garbage? Fine. Whatever. Do it your way. Just hand me my alimony and piss off. Um, excuse me? Or, you know, property division or whatever the hell it's called. What about that, huh? I don't care what it is. Just give me some damn money. You're the one who's so stubborn that divorcing me is the only thing you can do. I'm allowing you to divorce me, so you better give me some cash to make up for it. I'm very sorry, but I do not think there's any way that I'm going to have to pay you any alimony. In addition to that... Property division does not apply to you, as this property was bought by me, with my own money, well before I met you. I don't owe you a single cent. What? Hmm, if we were to get really technical, then I suppose whatever salary I received after we married would be up for debate. But since then, since we make roughly the same amount, it would be pretty useless to try and bring that matter to court. You've got to be kidding me. What's going to happen to me? To my debt. Why on earth should I care? I only have one thing to say to you. Get out of my house. That's all. Laura, please. I'm begging you. Please marry Dad again. Let's all live together again. As a family. Excuse me? You replied! You do care. I knew you wouldn't abandon us. Excuse me? So you see, we're in an absolute mess right now. I learned about how my dad has insane amounts of debt. But no matter where we try to rent, no landlord would even accept us. Hmm. It would seem that you two have been blacklisted. And then, like, my dad was like, going to school isn't really an option in a situation like this. Can you believe that? He's saying I might not be able to go to college. Even though I have a 4.0 and I have like 10 letters. Oh, that's a shame. 
You were always working so hard every night, too. Right? You know more than anyone how hard I've been studying. You know all of that is down the drain thanks to my dad. Please, please, Laura. Would you please marry my dad again? And please allow us the chance to live in your house again? Uh, no. What? I mean, obviously I'm going to say no. Stay the hell away from my property. You're not setting foot in my house ever again. How could you be so heartless? Please, I promise I'll be good from now on. You can shower whenever you feel like it. Multiple times a day, I don't care. You can even shower before me. Look, I'll even be the last one, okay? Mmm, that's quite the generous offer. However, I happen to already be able to shower whenever I feel like it. Without the additional parasites living in my home, no less. So living with you guys again doesn't seem to have any pros for me, it would seem. Please don't say that. I'll become a trophy daughter for you. I'll make sure you can show me off with pride to all your friends. And, and I'll even let you call me your daughter. How's that? I'll call you mom and everything. Excuse me? You must be overjoyed, right? Since you can't have any children of your own. Right, mom? See? Doesn't that sound nice? So please, please marry my dad again. Look, I'm busy taking care of my own child. What? So could you seriously get a grip on reality? I don't have enough free time to spend on two morons like you. Even if I did, I've had my fair share of having to baby two idiots who don't even respect me. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean by your own child? But you... I thought you were physically unable to have children. And... And not to mention, you were married to my dad until just a while back. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, so... What do you mean by your own child? Hmm? It isn't strange at all for a barren woman to have her own child, is it? Just until recently, you were legally my child too. Wait, hold on. Are you implying that... Don't tell me that you've already remarried. And with yet another single dad, too? Oh, so is that how it is? Is that why you've been refusing to listen to what I have to say? Well, I bet you're just having the time of your life with your new stepkid, huh? What, are they cuter and better than me? Am I too plain for you to even bother considering? Huh? No, I've learned my lesson thanks to you and your dad and won't be leaping into any new marriages anytime soon. However, I did adopt the most precious dog from the local shelter, and I'm just so busy taking care of this little fluffy darling. Well, take care, Jessica. I've got my hands quite full with my new baby, so I don't have time to deal with you or your terrible father. Wait, please. This has got to be a joke. You're joking, right? Please, I'll do literally anything. I'll get down on my knees and beg you if I have to. Please, don't abandon me and my dad. After that, despite me ignoring them, I've been bombarded with messages from both Jessica and Edward. It was starting to get pretty annoying, so after a while I just ended up blocking them both. With visits from loan sharks and banks becoming more and more frequent for the pair, I've heard that they've had no choice but to move deep into the countryside and hide for the foreseeable future. Edward has been helping out on a farm, and Jessica had to transfer to a new high school in the middle of senior year. Last I've heard, she has no friends and works at a dusty little country gas station. As for me, I finally have a child I can call my own. The most beautiful little Dashend. Every day has been busy, a bit chaotic, and so, so fun. Though being treated like a slave by my stepdaughter of all people was heartbreaking and infuriating, I've been more than happy playing to be at the back and call of my new precious little baby. Whenever I look at her cute face, I just can't seem to help myself. <laughs>